you were talking about like you obviously give a long leash to your fighters about you know what they can say when they are up there with a ufc microphone and you are getting into territory of homophobia transphobia like is there i don't give anybody a leash well i'm saying you a leash i'm st- like free speech and when, control what people say and to tell people what to believe and to tell people i don't fucking tell any other human being what to say what to think and there's no leashes on any of them what is your question i was asking that question i'll move on though yeah uh, probably a good idea you should, that's ridiculous to say i give somebody a leash free speech brother people can say whatever they want they can believe whatever they want if and i don't think there's any it, we had we had we had two gay women who fought in the co-main event they sat on the stage with sean strickland they could give a shit what sean strickland thinks or what he says, or what his beliefs are, or what his opinions are. You know what I mean? Go ahead, what do you got? I'm not the biggest Dana White fan, but his response right there was brilliant. That's, I mean, I think that more people should respond this way to the media when they're trying to bait, to trap, and to instigate cancel movements with athletes. Um, in my most recent video, I commend this uh, Sean Strickland for you know shutting down that woke reporter that was trying to trap him. These are all traps that these people um, wanna set up. You know, all these woke people with their movements, their ideologies, and they know why his response was short. It was cut and dry. He just, you know, he responded the way he, it's not new. This is the way he always responds. This is the way uh, Sean, Strickland always responds. Um, so these people know, these reporters, my point is these reporters know very well the kind of reactions they're going to get. But they're trying to instigate, you see? It's a, it's an agenda. It's, it's, a, it's a movement. It's, it's a, you know, trying to damage the product of UFC, um, the brand of the fighters, and hurt their careers in one way because they don't think the way you want the mass of people to think. And yeah, man, I, I mean, this, that's the way it is, man. Uh, it, it's a free country. Believe what you want to believe, have opinions, uh, have any religion you want, freedom of speech. You know, that the way the reporter was... was um, putting it together, you know, um, leash is ridiculous. Why are you going to use the word leash? Like, like, you know, the fighters are dogs. Um, they're not pets. They're not dogs. And Dana White is not new for years. He has said that he has never, uh, censored fighters. He has never stopped them from, from saying what they feel. And there's times he doesn't even like it, but still he doesn't go, and prohibit them or make them apologize or you know if you're going to be triggered that's on you guys and if you're going to be triggered okay be triggered but fight your own battle you know say your piece get in that other guy's face tell him that he's a piece of shit for what he said whatever it is that you think it's not being done right but don't don't go with the with the whole oh let's get together and cancel this person because it's just it's bullshit, man. Wokeness and, and ideologies and all these agendas and all this virtual signaling. You want to push that into UFC now? UFC is free of that bullshit. And that's awesome. It's one of the most awesome things that, you know, MMA, the sport that, that I love, that I like watching, is free of that shit. Fighters are free to say whatever they want to say. And they promote fights because these are fighters. They don't have time for that shit. You know, they're when they're cutting weight, 
when they're they're at the pressers and they're promoting the fights they're doing it because they have to they don't really want to be they they would rather be just cutting weight and focusing and game planning and and training for that fighter that wants to take their head off in that ring you know so yeah man just my i wanted to post my reaction to that video um you know and and just talk about it a little bit it, um all this shit you know this this wokeness all these uh you know sports figures and and you gotta push back you gotta be you know you gotta talk to these people sincerely honestly respectfully i mean uh dana white didn't did not disrespect the guy he that's the way dana white talks um but he told told him and 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 ufc you know has had gay fighters forever now you know and 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 they don't give a shit it's, it's it's all about the fights these are athletes they're fighters and that's if you if you're gonna be a reporter you know talk about the fight leave politics out of it man it's not it's not the place for it um uh, and i think that should be also the same thing should be applied for the other sports that have been ruined and a lot of fighters have a lot of other um sports figures have gotten in trouble suspended and all that all this crap you know words are words man words are words it's not the same as, as committing crimes and hurting you know um raping or beating up you know some kid or, or it's it's different you know what i'm saying so i don't want to rumble on uh more but i just wanted to uh, give my two cents about all this wokeness crap that that this wokeness crap that is ruining um movies and and tv shows and and entertainment overall you know um and now you want to push it into mma and and you you know dana white's uh response was just brilliant thanks for listening guys peace